already said we're running a program that if you bring a, a friend the second time to the rock, you get a free piece of another one. So um, that'll be fun. Uh, we are a small group today. Boy, this nice weather is definitely bringing people out, I guess. All right, All right. Um, we can give you a soda today. Yep. Let's. Uh, Let's first of all have your attention, and uh, a couple things. Uh, one would be that we're very thankful to the ladies for all Thank they do. You. Uh, they also have up here brought by Karen a salad. It's a grape salad, and she bought it before, grapes. and it's very, very good, isn't it? There's bananas in there too. Bananas, bananas and grapes. It's a fruit salad, so you got to try that. Salad. There, are, there are also uh, donuts, right? Donuts. Donuts. Red and those, just plain grapes. And your weight. Oh, she brought plain grapes too. Yeah. 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 And uh, sour cream and onion uh, chips, guys. Uh, and also Doritos, are they? So a lot. And then also. Your Lord God, today teach us more about how to overcome temptation with your help. Oftentimes we give in, and dear Lord, we are sorry for that. Be merciful to us as we know you are, as Jesus paid for all of our sins. Help us, dear Lord, now to live our lives for you every day by looking to overcome temptation. Show us what is right and what is wrong according to your word and your law. And help us, dear Lord, out of love for you to keep it. We pray, dear Lord, that when it comes to food, that you help us to share it with other people. Help us not to be greedy and selfish. Uh, dear Lord, also lead us to give thanks to you for it like we're doing now. And we ask you, dear Jesus, to be our guest. Come, Lord Jesus, be our guest, and let these gifts to us be blessed. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Amen. The best prayer ever is, Santana? It's God's prayer. The Lord's prayer. We can call it God's prayer. That's okay. That's all right. I like that. Prayer. Because uh, the Lord is another, of course, title that God has for Himself in the Bible, and it's often called the Lord's Prayer. Lord's Prayer. It's the Lord's Prayer because He taught it to us. He composed it. He made it up, and He now has given it to us to learn how to pray and also to use to pray to Him. But what happens is that um, that's one of the youthful uh, sins that can happen. Uh, to teenagers where they get sucked in because of peer pressure or whatever is going on. What are you going to say? Well, I was going to somewhat say what he did, but another thing that um, you could do is um, you're going to drive, drive them home and tell their parents exactly what happened. And then um, if they're not living too far from you and it's their vehicle, leave the vehicle there or see if their parent drive you home and tell your parents what happened and you didn't know what was going on. It'd be the right thing to do, actually. Right, and it would probably be the thing that would save somebody's life because sometimes you have to do the unpopular thing. You have to make a decision that's not popular maybe with your friend or with others, uh, but you're doing it because you don't want anybody to die or you don't want anybody to get hurt really bad. Uh, you want only good for your friend, and so you might have to uh, let a, a, an older person like your parent or their parent know what's going on so that that person can be helped. Uh, and don't ever get into the car with somebody who's been drinking and they're going to drive. Uh, that's a formula for disaster. Yes? I pretty much the same thing as Amanda said, but like, if they still say no, I would like literally just knock them out and drive. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you would forcibly, you would forcibly stop them from driving. Yep. If you have to, and uh, you you love that person, you might have to do that because yeah. it could be really, you could be saving a life through having to do that. And we're also thinking about those things that we keep falling into, where we say no, we're not going to do it again, but we do it again, and we think how Jesus died for all of those sins, and then we're thinking, God, help me so I don't do it again. So we have a desire not to do it again. We know that we sadly probably will, but we're praying to God that he helps us to overcome temptation. And that's faith. Faith is where you want to please God and you want to try Anything to please God. Anything else in regard to this, Ariana, in regard to this petition, and lead us not into temptation. Anything else that anybody wants to add that you thought of? 
uh, that we maybe didn't cover well. Lead us not into temptation. We're praying God to help us to overcome temptation. Remember what temptation is? It's to fall into a sin uh, that is against God's Word. Why don't you stay here first? We're going to pray. Okay? Thank, Thank you. you. Don't forget, there's one person you should pray for. Who? Brandon. Absolutely, you're not feeling too well, huh? Okay. All right, let's pray. Uh, we'll include that in our prayer. Respect the moment, everyone. Okay? All right. Dear Father, Heavenly Father, you have asked us to pray to you in temptation, and we need to. We need you. We are weak, and we easily give in to temptation. We see that as we have given in time after time. Please, Heavenly Father, don't let us fall because of temptations. Help us to escape from them and escape always through Jesus, who went to the cross and paid for all of our sins. Lead us, dear Lord, to put to flight our sinful nature, the devil, and the sin in the world with Jesus, for he is the answer to temptation. Lead us, dear Lord, also to pray for each other. So we pray for Brandon and anyone else that might not be feeling the best. Help them, heal them according to your plan and your grace. Be with all the teens. Help them in their lives to overcome temptation. When they fall, lead them back to you, seeking forgiveness from you and knowing that in Jesus they have it. And we pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. This is, by the way, an example of a teen talent uh, night. And so if anybody has a talent they want to do at the end of talk time, just to let me know ahead of time and, and, and help me remember. <laughs> So I'm glad I remembered. Santana, go for it. Okay, I'm going to need a volunteer for this. I'll do this. I'll do, I'll do it. No, I got no, it. No, I'm close. Should I do it? Elliot walked up Elliot's to me, up. so... Okay, so just name two cards. I need two cards. Alright. Queen of Hearts and Nine of Eight. Nine of Diamonds. Okay. Nine of Eights. Nine of Eights. Nine. Woo! <laughs> that sounds like a new card that I want. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's actually pretty interesting. Okay, so Queen of Hearts, you said? Queen of Hearts. And Nine of what? Eight, eight, eight of Diamonds. Eight of diamonds. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that was quick. That one was quick. Okay. Please don't tell me it's the one that I already know. Oh, the card switch? The one that I showed you at school? Yep, I got this one. Okay, so now. Alright, guys. It's easy. You can tell that the two cards are different by the, well, color is not different, but like, see? Queen of Hearts is right there. Elliot, hold your hand like this. Flat. No, turn it around. Hold that Queen of Hearts as tight as you can. Put the hand over it. But no, put that hand over it. Okay, so I can't. So there's no, there's no way I can get to it. But look, if I just slide like that, the queen of hearts on here is the eight of diamonds. All right. So I love you, mom.